So games are a really important part of our lives. And as the years go on, that's only going to, you know, heighten. Games are only going to become more important to us. And the biggest shift I think we're going to see is they're moving from being a discrete experience to an indiscreet experience. So when I was 15 years old and I wanted to listen to music, I really had a couple of choices. Uh, I could sit up all night and hope they played music I liked on the radio. I could go down to the record store. I could buy a cassette tape, go home, put it in my boombox, and sit down and listen. And I really had to make a conscious decision. So now by virtue of the fact that almost every device I own plays me music and services like Spotify curate and personalize that music for me in context, it pretty much surrounds every minute of my day from the minute I get up in the morning to the minute I go to bed at night. So music has really moved from being this discrete experience I had to make a conscious choice to engage in to something that surrounds everything I do. So when we think about games today, already we've got more people playing more games on more platforms in more geographies around the world than ever before. It's not just a console business, it's not just a PC business, it's not even just a mobile business. We've now got VR and AR and streaming, and so as we fast forward that to the future, you think about what the world looks like with a 5G network streaming latency-free gaming to every device you own, it's really easy to imagine that games would permeate our lives much the way digital music does today. From the minute I get up in the morning, everything I do has an impact on my gaming life, both discreet and indiscreet. The amount of eggs I have in my internet-enabled fridge might mean my Sims are better off in my game. The length of distance I drive in my Tesla on the way to work might mean that I get more juice and need for speed. If I go to soccer practice in the afternoon by virtue of internet-enabled soccer boots, that might give me juice or new cards in my FIFA product. And I think what we start to see is less about is it a shooter, is it a sports game, is it open world, is it closed world, is it linear story, is it multiple, you know, fork story, and more about this one existing world where we all play a part. So this world where games and life start to blend, I think really comes into play in the not too distant future, and almost certainly by 2021.